Hey everyone, uh, <coughs> dropped it. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, it's been a couple of, it's been a very short time, not even a full week. Uh, I've dyed my hair. Finally, I I had such a long shit. Damn, Welkin's the one doing it as well now, huh? Huh. <laughs> oh man, the time has finally come to settle things with Maximilian. I assume he's capable of neutralizing any attack you send his way, same as the other Valkyrie. His Valkyrian uh, powers are the result of a device and are artificial. He'll have a weak point on that deck. Find it and lob every bullet and bomb you have. Defeat Max once and for all. Take the Maniac out and put an end to the War Sevens. It may not stop bullets. I hope you won't forget you go with an entire nation's hopes for peace. Oh man, the tanks are up here. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I can... I'm just gonna go with the normal guys. I can only assume that that's gonna be what's happening. I guess it could be a... God, I don't know. It's cool that Welkin's giving the orders, though. Alicia telling you the stuff in the this first thing. Oh, <laughs> At least she's telling you the stuff in the intro, and then Varat doing it for all of them. And then I guess it makes sense that she physically can't. You know. <laughs> okay. Up on the Marmotas deck, eh? Nice spot for a showdown. It's just a shame we got no audience. What are you talking about? My shamrock's chomping at the bit for a piece of this action. The Edelweiss is also all ready to go, sir. We're ready for your orders, Welkin. Okay, let's get started, Sevens. Let's go, Our Team Cannon, guys. Commander, Maximilian himself. <laughs> yeah, do that anime shit. Stuff's flaking off. It's all cloudy. All right. Tower, Max, Armored Tower, 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 Armored Tower, Tower. Let's do this thing. I guess it's meant to be a thing where like, oh, that's it. So yeah, this boss fight might actually be really lame. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Ain't no stopping me. Like, no guarantee on if this is actually gonna be cool or not. Just try to stop me. I could hit you from here. You think bullets will stop me? Oh, that's the armor tower. Cool. Next. It looks like there's no way to walk over there, so I think if I post up here and then face that way, I should be fine. Leave it to me. Should we see what the All shamrock right, can do? Yeah, okay. As the as the case usually is, that's just a big gun. A, a bullet firing gun. Yeah, even with all that, he can't actually hurt me. Why? I hope that did something. I'm trying to just park with my back to a wall. Understood. Okay. The 
Hunt begins. We'll probably be able to get down like almost all of these in one turn. All right, there's that one at the back of the pack. Okay, that one's down. The hunt continues. Cool. Sweet dreams. You're doing well. Just that means that we can hit this one another time. Understood. Basically, no reason to not. So, what's with you then, huh? Do I have to sneak around and hit it from the back? I know I have a talent for that, so it's possible. Sweet dreams. Good work. Keep it up. I can't believe Homer's dead, guys. to not let our guard down, guys. Is this going to do anything? He takes damage. Yes, that one managed to connect. Your shield doesn't work like you think it does. So he was using the towers to induce an artificial Valkyria state. Chris, have you said one thing useful to me? All right, everybody. Keep your sights trained on those energy towers. Avoid the actual at all. Just in case you're a moron and didn't notice, here's what's been going on. So that was explosive. My turn, okay? Okay, I'm not hurt. Ah, there's a thing up here. Run, run, don't stop moving! <laughs> that guy's having an intense one. Please hit. <laughs> Great. I'm a weapon. No, a shield. Is this a, that's a normal tower. So we might be able to hit that with something. Get ready to die, imps. Let's let's see what he does on his turn. I assume that there's probably going to be a thing where like the towers fix themselves or something. Two. Be gone. Under heavy fire. That's not terrible. The fact that he says "be gone" is pretty funny. And he's got that big Valkyrie slow walk. Okay, so he can charge up and do what looks like fixed damage is the thing. Like, that's not so bad. It's... The damage isn't high. I can get over there and fix that. And I'll have to. I'm on. Or else. All right. Oh, what is it, boy? Now bravery is starting to come in. I'll try my best. All right, we've got an extra point as well, so let's not forget that we have that. That's a privilege. We can theoretically get more things done with it.
So that does like a little under 2,000 a shot. And he's got two. So if we fix it like this, then we can survive on and, you know, just not take the chip damage next time. Lance Fragment. Let's take cover behind it. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Just try to stop me. I mean, we'll see, right? Oh yeah, help me out, Alicia. Scream for me. Hell yeah. Die, die, die. Fantastic. Next. Probably gonna need to get the lancers on the um on that thing. Leave it to me. What does that do for me? What does that mean? Oh, he's an he's an object now. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Just watch this. Let's move the guys up. That's all right. I'm not bulletproof, but I'm bullet resistant. Boom. Ooh. Got to like almost skill shot it. Penetrating enemy lines. Especially when you're so slow, got to be hard to get into range for it. Been waiting here. You're done. Okay. So at least we have that. Huh. Moving out. Please hit. He is regenerating as well, so it looks like the towers are probably going to help him with that. Hmm. Open fire. Pardon me. Got my exploration on. So what's even up? Oh, these are the armored towers. They're still up. This is a stock tower. This tower was not. Didn't I shoot these? Understood. I was like, sure, I did. I mean, I guess they could be being fixed. That would make sense to me. Is this going to be like the Ender Dragon fight from Minecraft? Nothing personal. Where like, if you hit the, the, the things while Sweet he's dreams. connected to them, Enemy he'll take damage. Oh, uh, come on. All right. Perfect. I got it. Let's move up Edie and get another one in the field. All right. Don't mind that. My room had just started. Get ready. That's uh, automated. Um, Largo, maybe? You? Sure. I think Largo. Yeah, I have a Roomba now. I'm very excited about that. I'm very happy, in fact. Give it a shot. Damage is dealt. I should have I should have used his uh, movement more. But yeah, I have a uh, Roomba to clean up my apartment. I mean, someone's got to do it. That's more than a thousand. That's trouble.
Does anyone else think that the beam weapon is a little too big? And... Zaka's dead. Could be unfortunate. So is that like a, um... How do I, how do I say? Is it like a range thing? Does he have to be right up on him? Edelweiss has got 3k to sit on, though, so maybe that'll be better. Oh, man. When we were, re like, constantly retrying the, the mission with Alicia in it, that one killed, like, that killed me. Having to, like... Oh, boy. Having to watch the Valkyria cool guy slow walk... It's not that cool. Take him out. Hell yeah. Sweet dreams. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Wait, what? Okay, so these are coming back. So maybe we need to just kill the ones that he's literally hooked up to that second. Get ready. And then we have a chance to go in. Because it looked like he's being... He's only hooked up to this one. Right. Or no, he's only hooked up to this Let's one. This Ain't no stopping me. What's In that case it might actually be good to like get them all to low health and not kill them. Like if I can't kill them in one, then whatever, I'll just bank it. That should be fine, right? After me, kiddos. Okay. Yeah, no one's hooked up to it right now. Girls, can I get some help here? Or it won't work. Does the tank need to be the one to... Hmm. Curious. I guess we should just move the Edelweiss up just so it's up. What are those machine things? The Roomba's attacking my desk, everyone. Don't mind me. Okay, so that's damage. You got it, Han. Don't give them an opportunity. What about this? Is this is that gonna count? Okay. Not quite a puzzle, but you gotta know it, you know? Where's the big man? There he is. I kind of somehow foresaw that this might be the end of this game. Just like a bunch of dummies on top of a giant tank shooting at one guy. I didn't think that it would end that way more recently. Like, the unusual part about that thought process is that, like... Uh, at the start of the game, I was fully expecting this to be like, what if World War II had Super Saiyans in it? And then as the game progressed, I was like, okay, this is a little more real robot than I, than I anticipated. Real robot is a fandom term that refers to, like, 
the realistic the, the realism present in a robot show. So like Gurren Lagan is very unrealistic. So it's called Super Robot. Fire! Uh but something like Gundam is halfway point. Something like Gundam is is pretty realistic for most part. Uh so it's real robot. And initially there was just Super Robot. But Gundam has a lot of like realism stuff in it. Oh boy, here we go. I know that he hasn't taken his shirt off, but the fact that he took the mantle off and he has no sleeves does make him look like essentially shirtless. So he just popped his DT as near as I can tell, and it's the start of the next uh, phase. So that might be trouble for me. But he's over there, so he might not be able to hit me with that really big one. Gatling beam now. Uh, yeah, there's this really good moment in the first episode of Gundam that, like, no one knows what it means now, but back in the day, that meant something. Oh, here he comes. When, when the main character while piloting the Gundam is like, oh man, I'm out of ammo, and, like, until that point, no one had ever even thought about robots running out of ammo. Really, dude? Well, I don't think he can kill now. That's new. Oh, that's that's real new. I uh rut row. <laughs> He's going back to his starting position now. Huh. All right. Hmm. Yeah, see, because we we uh, we went light on this one earlier. Yeah, if we can have the turns to spare, then like that would work. That can work. Yeah. All right, now get the hell out of here, Jan. This armor tower is at full. Okay. But that's one of the three giving him juice. Oh, now this one is. Maybe it's because the other one was like only partially next to him. All right. It's going to be kind of a long shot for Largo to make. Ooh, all right. That will do, sir. Thank you. All right. Where are the girls at? They're here. Man, so I guess he didn't charge the shot as much. Maybe it's like the Omnitrix. Ain't no stopping me. Like, you know, Valkyria has a self-destruct move. This is canon. And like, maybe, uh, uh, what's her name? Bless? Maybe Silvaria had been charging her, her self-destruct for like the full day before the battle. But he's the Emperor. He's important. People give a shit about him. You can't be fucking blowing him up. So maybe he was like, I can't afford to self-destruct myself like that. So it didn't kill everyone. It also didn't evaporate the Mormoda. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it didn't evaporate the Mormoda either. And like the other one evaporated a fortress. Like it did a lot of damage and not just to people. It hurt the land around it. Stones, you know, immortal objects. Jan's got a spare. All right. Oh, man. Entering combat. All right, we are going to need to post up so our tank butt is not exposed to uh, 
Yeah. Though, then again, because he now has the Gatling Beam, it might not... It might be the case that he's ill-equipped to do that. Yeah, he doesn't have the shield anymore, actually. Okay. I'd love to find out his attacks. Like, his resistances. Okay, that does hurt him. Why don't we just do another one of those, then? Okay, he's now down to half. It would be kind of nice to see his total. Alright, this is turn four. He could let off with that Luke, uh, that Luke, that nuke twice. But I don't even know where he's gonna go. Alright, doing something, he's doing the nuke, who's near him. Okay. Does not kill. It just scares you. I assume it could totally kill if we were closer. And yeah, he's getting back like a large proportion of his health. Oh, man. Be gone. Two down. Two people are dead. That ain't good at all. Oh, man. It would be very nice to have a scout here to go pick people up. Oh, is that my engineer? Because that could be really bad. Yeah, it was. But, Bo. Oh, and he's standing over her, too. Someone just has to pick her up. Alicia's gonna be real important in this coming fight, I somehow imagine. Maybe her secret Valkyria juice will finally proc, but... I can't believe how little we've actually seen of Valkyria. Like, I kind of thought that it would be, like, essentially just a mechanic. You're doing well. just keep it up. Like, it would just be a devil trigger that you can just pop at all times, you know? Oh, man. It would be really nice to have more than one engineer in my, in my uh, command here. Okay, that tower has lower health, which is good. It means that it can get killed faster. I mean, we might get killed here and we couldn't really do much about it. We, we don't have a spare engineer. We can't call one in and it would take too long anyway. Unless we have our orders. We can do one of these as well. Let's give it a shot. We, we've hardly ever seen it. Wait, how do we do it? Do we not have orders in this fight? Been waiting here. That would make sense, but still be lame. Boom. Okay. Enemy unit neutralized. 
Next up. Entering combat. This could go so bad, y'all. Of course, I guess I would just need to, like, reset the fight. Which is fine. That's nothing new, in fact. Done a lot of that in my time. All right, let's see it, guys. <sighs> Maybe he'll be merciful. The AI has made uh, habitual bad decisions all through the all through this game, anyway. Charge it. I know that I have heal order as well, but I don't think it works on tanks. Something else that hits something else. What and who did it hit? It's gonna be like three turns before I can get the medic back in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, one moment, everyone. All right, I started like an hour ago, but I think I might be good. I've just, Jane's doing it. Jane is gunning this man down. The damage is real, such as it is on this fucking boss. She might take the hit, she might survive. I think she might be able to do it. I have no idea if I'm gonna have enough. I was really planning on having more command points than this, but if it doesn't happen here, I might it might full reset. <gasps> okay, sorry. I literally I've restarted like five like four times. This is attempt four. <laughs> so in fact, I've started four times. I've restarted three times, tautologically speaking. Impossible. Let me crank the man's here. Adjust your headphones. Ours is the power of the Valkyra. Uh, how? How are we beaten? Maximilian, you lost the moment you began to rely on the Valkyra's power. Or the moment that you didn't let the Valkyra's power play to its strength. Also, is this really that bad of a thing, guys? I know they're allegorical for nukes, but I, <laughs> they don't really act like that. Like, I know that they can blow up really good, but... Also, so could anything. What if, what if, what if he won and we were like, how could we have lost? How could it, how, is it, how could it be? And he was like, you lost the second you started to rely on the power of tank. You know, think about how big of a turning point for us getting a tank was. Oh, his, his, his eyes aren't, uh. Dogs of Gallia. Yeah, they're not cracking out anymore. It's they still look bad. Surrender, Maximilian. Why did you get Your out of the war is over. <laughs> Surrender, you say. I think you forget. We Valkyra can give our lives to fuel a blazing hot inferno of destruction. gonna be fine the head of state still exists unless she's in the tank which I don't think she is that thing is so huge it looks kind of stupid it's worse in cutscenes 
Why has it stopped? My guess is it's because I killed the power supply. Doing nothing wrong forever. You made it! Oh, he's forgiven him. I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. Wilkin is so excited so he can't even hide. Like Audio <laughs> still gets to have his stupid what are you doing? thing. Let's go! Sorry, buddy. But I can't do that. Is that buddy is in like a for real or? Well, he had a gun. No. What are you doing, Faldio? This is insane! Faldio, stop! Just push him. Welcome. Alicia. No matter my reasons, I was wrong to have betrayed you. I disagree. Now it worked out. It's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us. Thinking power could save us. Now it's our cue to leave the stage. Farewell. But what if you just Welcome. chopped him? Alicia. Best of luck. Not quite a suplex. You guys remember Star Wars when the bad Emperor guy fell down a big hole? Though, then again. Then again, Star Wars is based off of Japanese myth anyway. Or maybe not a myth. The Invincible Fortress. Anyway. <coughs> Damn it! The boss and the little missus are still in there! Hey, boss! Alicia! You two okay? Logan, you're alright? Yeah, except for that. Our way is blocked off. Power of Welkin's orders has not Seven, been discussed much. Get off of the Cause like he can literally order you to get shot the less. The lost cause. You know? Alicia, let's find like a he way can up. order you to just take I'm less damage leader. from a bullet. Ever. Now let's go. You know what if it's like a command seal? Right. Let's move. This rocks. <sighs> All right, let's save that game, huh? Stop pressing that one there. Escape. I wonder what they're gonna do. Of course, one of them could die in the, in the attempt. Oh, this is one that was not an ancient one. It's no use. There's no way we're getting But it's out the of nice this. animated cutscenes. Is that my man's? Hang in there! Leon! <laughs> oh, I knew it! That's Isara's plane! I knew that they were saving it. They were holding it on. <laughs> I I kind of knew that some sort of Deus Ex Machina and well we here we have jump. a Machina ex Deus. No uh some some bullshit would have to happen to save these dumbasses. Uh is this gonna be the ending of Devil May Cry 1? We're all flying away from wreckage on a biplane, and the skies are blue and beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I knew that there would be like a um some sort of Deus Ex Machina, but I was either running on the the ghost of Faldio, or the ghost <laughs> of Silvaria, one, or the ghost of Isara. Leon, 
But hey, this is the Asara plane, so Where did you find the time? I should have said that out loud. After we lost Asara, KC and myself, well, everyone in the squad really came by to pitch in a hand. Aww. It was Isara's dream, you know? So, uh, it wasn't hard finding help. <laughs> I don't suppose it was. Isara. Oh, uh, hell yeah. You'll always live inside us. There's a better way the to phrase that. that day, now they're all of ours. Oh, we lost his hat. So tell me, bro, how far are we going today? This baby could take us clear across the sea if we want. My fucking man. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. Take us to Ranbreeze. This this is remarkably similar to the end of Devil May Cry 1. And if you haven't played it, it literally ends with every surviving protagonist on a biplane leaving and talking about how great things are and about the past and the future. The 25th day of October, <sighs> 1935. Salinas, we did not use you. Vice, we kind of used of you. Empire's invasion Wendy of was okay. Paved Edie the was way there. For truce between the two nations. Yeah, that'll do it. Decapitating the army like that. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won peace. The war was seven months? I guess that gives us a, a straight-up throwdown. Squad seven of the militia disbanded shortly after the conflict's conclusion. So I guess everyone is in Squad 7. Each oh, there's Homer. His or her own path. Yeah, I guess everyone that we and can here, recruit is a part of Squad of 7, long struggle, even though they're not, like, literally in the active duty. I guess it's just the guys who are in active duty. That makes sense, right? <sighs> oh my god, we did it, everyone. <laughs> I've been playing this game since March. September's almost over. <laughs> now there's a name, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, but it looks like Shaughnessy. Yeah, Fred Tadeschiar, I love that guy. Laura Bailey, classic, she's in everything. Of course it's Steve Bloom. Kerry Walgren, it is Robin Atkins Downs. Thought I Googled that and I said it, it wasn't. Leon, Patrick Seitz, my man. Love that. John DiMaggio. Oh, yeah, it is John DiMaggio's general name. In. Hans, pig. Dave Wittenberg. Isn't he also Welkin? That's funny. And then Liam O'Brien, Quinn Flynn, Roger Craig Smith, Nolan North. Yeah, a bunch of the... Great Elise. Yeah. All the regular guys in. Matt King, April Stewart, Patrick Seitz is Roddy Yeager. No wonder I loved him. My two favorite guys are voiced by Patrick Seitz, then. All right. Fuck, man. I, I really didn't mean for this to have two breaks in it, but like I, I, I took a break initially to help my fiance finish college, which she did. She's now graduated and has full honors and everything and a well-paying job in her field, which is great. She joined a program in college that allowed her to... This, this isn't strictly part of the story, but I'm bragging now. She joined a program in college that permitted her to directly join the workforce in her field immediately after finishing college and this program. Aww. What a good moment here. I don't recognize those. There was a beach episode? When? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I took a break then to, to help her out with that. Um, That cutscene was so good. The cabin. The cabin scene is so good. It has a completely opposite connotation to the cabin scene from RE4, which is what most people would think of when you say cabin scene, but like, oh man, it was really good. But yeah, I took a break then for two weeks to help, and it was very unfortunate that Valkyria Chronicles was stuck right in the middle of there. And like, Valkyria Chronicles had already been running for like 20 episodes or something. And then sometime around the 30 episode mark, I had to move. And you can see now my surroundings are different, I don't even have my... I don't have Sarah's rice paper thing up. You can see the rice paper back there. Let me turn it down and shout over this. Thank you, Mark. Um, but yeah, I'm in, I'm in different surroundings. And like, if you watch this whole LP, you'll see my hair and background change all over the place. Aw, oh, fuck. That one sucked. 
Hey, spoilers if you're just joining us. Uh, Isara dies. But yeah, and then like, so two breaks had to happen in there. And also as a result, like, like moving and a whole bunch of other shit had to happen. Like God. And like, this is a long LP to begin with. This is episode 43, 44? I don't, I don't actually know where we are. Oh, Marina Inoue. Marco's last name is Potter? Takahiro Sakurai, as Faldio. Huh. Oh, her name is Cordelia Girangris in full. Interesting. Oh, and a lot of these people have actual credits instead of just being some of the extra cast. I wonder why. Operator male and operator female. I guess those are just the guys on your tank radio. Akio Otsuka was Roddy Yeager. Chikiko, oh my god, this is before he died. Okay, those two guys are, are father and son. They're both voice actors. Akio and Chikao Chiko Otsu, Otsuka. Sorry, I'm stumbling over myself. Um, initially, Akio Otsuka was the voice of Solid Snake and uh, in, in Japanese. And his dad was the voice of Big Boss, Snake's dad. But Chikao Otsuka recently died um, and like... Akio took over a lot of his dad's roles, like Snake, Big Boss, and Eggman, you know? Uh, after offering Eleanor a bouquet large enough to fill an ox cart, a gold ring, and ten years of love, the two married. Aw, that's nice. The war marked the birth of a new song, who, who, her, new star, her song, A Love Passed On, became an anthem in Galia's revival. She travels Europa on a tour, but comes home to see Isara's grave. He built a toy factory. Aw, to bring uh, smiles to war orphans. The Enigma Box, the three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle, is the hottest toy in the market. Chris, oh, no wonder he calls him KC. No one can pronounce that name. He got his master's degree, and he became an aeronautical engineer. His thesis became a cornerstone on thought on flight. A speed demon since the day he piloted the airplane, he became a racer by trade. He hasn't slowed once after taking the gold in first, and he continues to race in competitions across Europa today. After the war's end, she confessed her heritage, shocking the message. Her candor won the support of Gallia, and she leads Gallia in name and fact. She remained single amidst many marriage offers. I have no idea how old she's supposed to be anyway, so. Sorry, I totally missed what um, Varat was supposed to be doing. Aw, that's nice. Yeah, there's not much to be, because they would either need to make a whole new set of models that you then see once, because there's only a few HD models. For they, they use for the cutscenes. This is a how I imagine it works. And then for these regular cutscenes and for gameplay, there's a bunch of normal models, and only a few specific people got uh, unique models for both. And only a few other specific people, namely Alicia and Welkin, got models for use not in uniform. I guess there's maybe a fucking Beach Episode DLC that I don't know about, so whatever, but... Um, so yeah, Akio and Shikako Otsuka, they actually didn't like each other. They publicly did not like each other for a couple of years, but they made up before Chikao's uh, uh, death. Uh, I believe this is the story, at least. Yeah, you didn't drop the ball that time, Sega. Aw. That was such a good scene. That's such a good game, but yeah, that adds that adds, that adds some interesting stuff to the fact that Bertolt and and Bertolt Gregor and Roddy Yeager are father and son. Is Roddy only half? Oh man. But yeah, if Roddy is literally because norm often they do play father and son sometimes. Um, just because why not? Is that supposed to have an implication that Roddy Yeager is? Aw, Mr. G. You gotta take a slug hunting again soon, okay? You is that Ash? You know, I think you're ready for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! Thank you! <laughs> what if you had like a cool guy eye patch, even though there would be no reason for that? Right along home now. Yeah, I think this is just his model from the start of the game again. Welcome, Gunther. 
After the war, he returned to his studies. Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame, but Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long-held dream of becoming a teacher. On Aww. weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. We did a lot of dumb bullshit to save that windmill. Thank you for choosing Alicia's. Hey, honey. How's business today? Hey. Damn, she looks hot. I'll say it. Hey, you. What a surprise. Guess what? So I started selling the smoked cheese bread today, and everybody loves it. Of course. Told you that bread was great. Guess everyone in town agrees with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Gunther. Aww. Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery. It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. How about you? How are your classes today? Ah, uh, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. <laughs> you know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid, too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? Oh man! <laughs> oh man, Ghibli child. Hey there. Have you been a good girl? You could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey, Don't worry, I saved some in my hair. Sarah, that's really great. All right, you show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! Come on, Papa, I'll teach you. Aw, that's so good. <laughs> they have matching ribbons, too. I'm crying, I'll say it. I'm a big man crying big manly tears over the ending of my stupid anime game. <laughs> uh. I like seeing almost like it's almost like the the city itself has been scarred, you know. Like yes, it's healing, but there's a wound there, and it'll leave a mark for you know decades to come. Aww. Wow. I was actually worried we weren't going to get a good ending cutscene. <laughs> like, sometimes uh, games of a, of a strategic bent, they give you, like, one big cutscene, and they're like, all right, and then people died, or they got out, or they sacrificed themselves. Like, um... Oh, God. What? Like, I, I would say XCOM 1 doesn't have a really good ending cutscene. It just kind of, you know, it stops. It's And then it's like, all right, and then the world was saved. New game plus. Oh, damn. That'll be the new, that's the new way to play. I guess that's how you hit level 20, because we hit like, we hit like 12. We hit like level 12 at the end there. We, we did not even hit 13 on, on everyone. Ugh. <sighs> we did it. It's finally over with. It is done. We we've beaten Valkyria Chronicles, and it took us like seven months. Uh, I do apologize slightly for the length of time, but I try to make content that is like like bingeable, I guess. Um, so the right way to watch Valkyria Chronicles is 
like in a week from now as I say this. Yeah, like a week from now as I say this, you go watch every single episode that I made in order while you're like playing Elden Ring or while you're playing Skyrim or you have it on background and something. Of course, if you're hearing this, and that means that hopefully you did that because it might have been really boring otherwise. Uh, <laughs> this is, of course, an episode. Uh, this is, of course, a series that would benefit from some editing, but I am still a one man show, strictly speaking. Man is a loose general definition, but you know, such as it is, one man show. Uh, and I don't have that capacity right now. Um, uh, I really liked this game though. I'm happy I got to, uh, to play it openly, broadly. I let everyone see it. Let everyone see me weep. Let everyone see my thought processes. Let me shout out as many stupid guesses as I could. That's my favorite part of a game. In fact, I don't play a lot of games blind, but I love guessing a million things. And when 10 of them are right, I'm like, I'm a fucking prophet. I saw the future. <laughs> um, Welkin, future Welkin. Either he's aging really well and he either maintained or repaired or just kept that old coat. Or they didn't bother to make him a fresh model. But like Alicia, they they made her, they appear to have made her a completely brand new model. Unless that was like used for her mom or someone else elsewhere. I don't know. Um... But it sounds like the voice actress is even doing... She's putting a little thing on her voice to make her sound older, which is cool. Ugh. That was really good, man. Like, I loved that game. That was really enjoyable. Like, the the strategy... Let's, let's get some final thoughts in. Gameplay-wise, like, the whole command point system, and I don't think I would ever want to do it again. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever play this game again. Maybe in New Game Plus, it'd be a little bit more palatable. But... Huh. Uh, the, the light strategy gameplay, it's not super intense. It's not even like Fire Emblem. It's not like an XCOM or something, but it is really good. Oh, this uses the Blitz system. I just opened the Wikipedia page. It's Battle of Live Tactical Zones. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, just read... And then, so the, the story... The story's pretty good. I actually enjoyed the story to an extent. Um... I think it hits a lot of things that I like, a lot of things that I was glad that they talked about. It does a lot of stuff that I think it handles pretty well. Um, I've seen some people who are like, they comment on how the Darkson and they think it's a bit heavy handed. But on the other hand, like this is space World War II and those are space Jewish people. Being heavy handed is kind of what you should come to expect. Uh, I don't feel like the game really dropped the ball ever. Um, I feel like it was pretty good the whole way through. Uh, it stayed consistent. So if, if you liked the intro, you will probably enjoy everything else. So the reason that Valkyria Chronicles 2 and 3 are not on PC, as far as I know, um, is because they're PSP games initially. Story-wise, Valkyria Chronicles 2 is two years after the events of the first game with a fight that breaks loose against the Revolutionary Army and the regular army to remove Cordelia from the throne. It has a military academy as its cadets seek to prevent an ethnic cleansing campaign by a ruthless rebel group. So I guess it's after the war. There's a civil war going on. Um, wow. Three only takes place. Uh, three was only released in Japan. And in Japan, it was called Unrecorded Chronicles. It follows the nameless... Uh, emphasis not added, a penal military unit serving the nation of Gallia during the war who perform black ops and are pitted against the Imperial unit Calamity Raven. Uh, wow, that sounds interesting. Like, that actually sounds legitimately interesting. Conceptually, the idea of... Yeah, the idea of, like... Obviously, Gallia is the good guys. Everyone knows that Gallia is the good guys. Of course. But the idea that, you know, they're still doing this, this 
uh, this behind the scenes shit much, makes them a little more morally gray. That's kind of cool. Uh, and of course, I love pressed or what is it? Pressed boxed crooks. Yeah, a boxed criminal. When you're impressed into service, I like that. Also, the fact that the Imperial guys are fighting our Calamity Ravens, that's cool. But yeah, I don't know if I like the idea that there's just another revolution and another war in Gallia and it's about Cordelia again. You know, there's a lot of things where it's like we need to make a sequel and no one actually thinks about what happens with that. Like, I don't want to see Welkin get dragged back into the field. I don't want to see Rangries and Gallia back in trouble again. I want to see Welkin and, and Alicia and their baby just fucking doing whatever. I guess that flashback, because the baby's like four or five there, and then they would have had to get married and then had to have conceived the child afterwards because I assume Welkin is a boring Christian man. Anyway, uh, Valcal 4 is pretty wide and easy to play. It takes place during the second and uh, or during the first and third game. It's not on the Galleon forces, but it's about the Atlantic Federation. Oh, so you play as those guys. That's interesting. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Um, I didn't expect... So I was told that they all take place during the same thing, but I guess no one played two. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I like the idea of a sequel, and it's like, and then Gallia was in trouble again. Like, of course, when the plot is the nation, then, of course, the nation is always going to be in trouble. Like, you look at something about Rome, and it's like, Rome is at risk of falling again, and like... Ugh, we've done this already, you know? But, like, the idea of having all of the additional stuff going on. And, again, the idea that you have a Black Ops unit that have plausible deniability that, like, we're not Galleon. We just have Galleon weapons and armor and gear. But we're not Galleon. We're prisoners. We don't have a nation or, or people. And then, again, um, not on the Galleon forces, but to fight against the uh the empire as the the at feds that's kind of interesting and then there are two spinoffs a browser game uh called valkyria chronicles d and valkyria revolution which i actually didn't know if that was part of it interesting it was for the ps vita mixed reviews huh interesting It'd be kind of interesting to see a game where you play as the... Oh, by the way, there's also an anime and a... Yeah, there's an anime and a manga. So yeah, Valkyria Chronicles 1 came out in 08, and Valkyria Chronicles 4 came out 10 years afterwards. So I guess a lot of people must have just started with 4, because like, the last game was 10 years ago, and the other two were on the PSP, and not everyone had a PSP. Sorry, but not everyone did. Um, And then you can also be a... Uh, you can also go start at Valkyria Rev. I might play Valkyria Chronicles 4. Like, I would really like to wait a little longer because I just finished what the... This is now technically the second longest LP I've ever done. <laughs> uh, also, at the bottom of the page, you click on it and it says, See also Skies of Arcadia. And Skies of Arcadia was a Dreamcast game published by Sega that is apparently, like has a lot of like crossover and the the main character is an eye patch dude named vice and i had no idea interesting yeah and and vice originally comes from this skies of arcadia game huh well anyway yeah i might do valkyria chronicles 4 at some point i would need to emulate it for two or three or they would need to port it um this is the port for pc so maybe they'll do it um, if you like, just go tell Sega, hey, port Valkyria Chronicles 2 and 3. Like, the idea of, of a plausible de deniability ga uh, gang, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> but yeah, um, we've now hit an hour and four minutes. I don't mean to talk this long, I assure you. And I know that the entire rest of my body of work would prove otherwise. Um, wow. <laughs> I don't rate games out of 10 so i'll just say that i enjoyed it greatly pretty much the entire time it kept consistent with what i wanted um though i will say i was misled because when i started looking for this game this was now eight fucking months ago 
I was like, what are some good Fire Emblem games on PC? Because obviously I know that you can't play Fire Emblem without emulating it on PC. But I wanted to play something like that. I wanted to play something strategic in anime. And the first thing people told me was Valkyria Chronicles. And I've got to say, I've played Fire Emblem and it's really nothing like that. I, I guess it shares some DNA, but it's not really Fire <laughs> With some finality, I am happy to report we have finished Valkyria Chronicles. So... I am Alfred. I have been and will remain Alfred. We beat Valkyrie Chronicles finally. I'm very happy with the ending. Thank you all for coming and sticking through it. If you're hearing this, then that means that you have stuck through far more than most average viewer of even a normal channel would watch. To say nothing of my long-winded boarding channel, but thank you for coming. I, By the way, I'm not beating myself up. I know I make boring content. That's why I make it. I hope you enjoyed. I make the content that I would like to see, and while I don't normally watch my own stuff, I hope that someone else can enjoy this as much as I enjoyed making it. Or if, like, ten people can enjoy it one-tenth each, that'd be pretty good. Somebody's got to cut me off here. Sorry. Thank you all again. I've now heard this has been Valkyria Chronicles. I'm going to wait at least a year before I even think about playing the next one. See you guys later, though. Bye-bye.